See your energy as being worth more than a Lamborghini itself. If my energy is a price currency and my energy is worth thousands and thousands of dollars, I'm not going to freely give toxic people, here you go, thousand dollars, when they haven't shown you that they deserve your one thousand dollars. So, I want you to get out a mirror and look into it. Then tell me, who do you see? Are you currently seeing a reflection of the loser, defeated version of you who feels sorry for herself every single time a problem occurs? Or are you currently seeing the version of you who doesn't give a damn about any single roadblocks and chooses to win regardless of what anybody is telling them? See, by the end of this video, I want you to be seeing a reflection of the badass queen version of you who refuses to settle for any bullshittery that is presented in her face. No more, it is time for us to win. By the way, hi, my name is Patty, and if you guys are enjoying the video, please feel free to support and subscribe to this channel as that will be a great help. Now let's move on. One. I want you to identify all the pain that you have experienced. Then once you feel that pain come up, I want you to now decide that this is the last time you are going to let yourself feel this way towards any obstacles that are presented in front of you. This is the last time you will settle for a mediocre reality. This is the last time you are going to react like a loser against your circumstance. The thing is, the only way for us to detach is to surrender. But in order for us to get to the point of surrendering, we have to feel enough pain to want to hit a no point of return. The thing that keeps majority of us stuck in cycles is that we keep assuming that what we feel with our five senses is reality, when actually consciousness is our reality. And how we interpret and respond to every situation is what dictates the outcome. So if you experience somebody telling you, you aren't good enough for this. You're not chosen. You're not meant for that kind of life. To proactively respond means to not vibrationally dip when people make you feel less than who you truly are. To vibrationally respond is to decide, this is not the truth for me. I can have anything that I want in my life. I get to command my reality and therefore this is a no point of return. I would never consciously let myself feel guilty, regretful, shameful, embarrassed or scared anymore because I'm choosing the version of me who takes ownership of my life fully. 2. Rewiring your subconscious mind Now you may see in many many manifestation videos that if you want to change your reality, you have to change your belief patterns. And I'm also going to reinforce to you how important it is that your beliefs align with your future self. If you are still believing that I need to settle for crumbs, I need to keep people that don't serve me because I don't have power to command my reality, then your actions will start being congruent to that belief. So therefore, before you even try to change your actions or your behaviors, you have to start from the root cause. And that root is your belief system. So depending what works for you, you can use affirmation tracks to rewire your subconscious mind, either before you sleep or right when you wake up. For myself, I found hypnosis to be quite effective. When my brain is no longer active, when I feel too tired to think of any conscious thoughts, now I'm allowing new belief patterns to enter my subconscious. And it is so much easier to not counter those beliefs when I feel like I'm ready to sleep or I'm ready to stop thinking. So I want you to imagine that for the next 30 days, you are starting to flood your subconscious mind with beliefs like, I am the winner. I command my reality. I'm always chosen. I'm always loved. The best people choose me. I always attract the best relationships. I always create the world that I want. I always get to spend my time in the exact way that I want to spend it. I can guarantee you that on the first seven days, your egoic mind will try to counter these beliefs and say, that's not reality. You have to trade your time for money. There are only a handful of good men out there, but they are not available for me. Only mediocre men come into my life. I don't get to meet top quality men because I don't see myself as top quality. This was my belief that I held on to for 20 years because I felt inadequate towards life. So even if I've met some great men already, but I wasn't attracting the best version of them simply because my beliefs were all wonky. And that's why I want you to really get disciplined and decide 
if I'm a high quality person now, what kind of foundational beliefs will I only have? Again, the affirmation tracks that I use are ones by Dylan James and also ones by Lavender. But you can find any affirmation tracks that work for you, or better yet, create your own affirmation tracks. And if you find that sleeping with the affirmation tracks on are too much, then even 10 to 15 minutes of being in that hypnosis state, being in that falling asleep state, and just listening to it before you go off to sleep is the most effective time for you to really change things up. So if you are ready to command your reality, I want you to spend at least 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and before bed in a drowsy state, listening to the right affirmations that will help you believe that you are top tier. You are now bridging the gap between your current and future self, who will now attract only the best things in your reality with no contradictions. Now that we have rewired our subconscious mind through affirmation tracks, we also have to make sure that all of our day-to-day -day decisions are not contradicting those beliefs. So I want you to be very clear on how you want to allocate your time. And this is so important because you have to know who to cut off from your life and who to allow into your life. I can guarantee also that 90% of the time, the toxic people that you can't get rid of, it's not exactly that you can't say no, but it's because your foundational belief is saying to you that that I am mediocre. Okay, I try to convince myself that I'm top tier, but I still see myself as a mediocre person. Therefore, I have to tolerate this boss. I have to tolerate this older figure. I have to tolerate toxic friendships, knowing that it's not good for me. And that's because you have identified yourself as the person who has to settle. But again, if you command your own reality, you will know that you don't have to settle. And saying no is very, very easy. In fact, you don't even have to verbally say no. All you have to do is stop responding. So therefore, your habits have to show you every single day that, okay, Patty, I'm following your command. I'm listening to you. I'm following your instructions. If this is a red flag, I don't go near that thing. So now I want you to identify the red flags in your life, the disgusting, icky feeling that you feel when you engage with that thing. Whether it's a person, whether it's a conversation, whether it's the quality of time you spend on that thing. That icky, yucky thing could even be social media posts. Instagram accounts, WhatsApp accounts, Facebook accounts that you don't need. Unless you are using your Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn to generate revenue or get a significant promotion, do you still see the point of keeping it in your life? Is it truly a green flag in your life? You must have the inner conviction that you deserve better than this. You deserve to allocate your time to places that fill you by 10x. You deserve to hang out with people that help you make more money. And I'm not saying this as a business transaction kind of way, but I'm saying that you deserve to hang out with people that inspire you to learn about new business ideas, inspire you to learn a new skill set, inspire you to be a better person, inspire you to be a better speaker, a better communicator. Not people that give you temporary pleasure, but then they start gossiping, trauma dumping, and doing all these things that drain your energy. Guys, your energy is so precious. Think of your energy as gold. If you had gold or diamond in your safe, are you going to easily let any random person open that safe and touch your gold? Think of your energy being like that and your body is your safe. Your body needs a passcode. Only the most important people deserve access to your body and energy. So please recognize what five out of 10 habits are you keeping in your life? I can even admit that during the past few weeks, I have fallen back a little bit with the mediocre habits. I've been watching a lot of cute animal videos, baking videos and mukbang videos because I was stressed from editing. At first, I thought that this habit was a way for me to kind of rewind. I couldn't shut my mind Mind off. So I would think of new ideas, then watch cute animal videos all the way to 1 or 2 a.m. And that makes me really tired during the day. I admit to myself, I've fallen a little bit and I get myself right back up, stop the habit and start creating new patterns that truly serve me. Which leads to the next important question. What habits will be serving your future you? For my case, daily short workouts really help me a lot. There are days where I don't want to work out. I am cold. I am tired from editing. 
I just want to sleep and watch animal videos. Really because this year has been a whirlwind of negative circumstances in my 3D reality, although it's been the most positive internally for me this year. But I am drained from seeing all these contradictions. I want to rest. So therefore, every single time I do one hour cardio, my muscles would get quite sore and I would just want to rest my muscle. But then if you are able to recognize this and say, okay, if long workouts are too much for me, I can still commit to shorter workouts. 20 to 30 minutes a day, every single day, and modify the intensity of the workout to suit your muscles. That's how you're gonna feel good about yourself every day that at least I accomplish this part of my health. If you don't want to work out in the same environment, you also have the option to go and walk, walk to see the sunset, walk to see the sunrise. You cannot underestimate these little healthy habits that you can repeat every single day because at least getting yourself out into nature every day will help you have a clear mind. This may all sound like I know all of this, but the question is, are you implementing it? When things get rough, are you starting to recognize that I've fallen? I'm acknowledging that I'm not progressing as fast as I used to, but I don't blame myself for it. And then I start to get myself back into that positive loop of momentum, whether it's taking myself out for a walk, whether it's going onto my yoga mat, meditating longer, spending less time watching animal videos, even though they make me happy. All of this is up to you to command. Is it important enough for you to have the best version of your reality? If it is, you must rise into the best version of you by doing small little things each day that reinforces to you, I'm a quality person. I respect myself. I take care of my health. So therefore, nobody can mess with me because I treat myself like gold. And finally, four tangible action. And I really, really mean this guys, because even though you can meditate for money to come, but I personally found that when I didn't feel self-respect, the money just wouldn't come. And it's not just the money, it's also the life wins, access to things that I wanted. As soon as I felt like a loser, everything was shut off from my reality. But when I start to feel like I respect myself, I see myself as being somebody that I can trust. That's when not only money is open to you, but it's also these career doors, free access to exclusive membership that could help me elevate my income. This was something that I wasn't looking for, but the minute I felt like, damn, I respect myself for keeping promises to myself. And therefore, two to three thousand dollars worth of products are available to me for free out of nowhere. All I have to do is apply. I don't need to have millions of dollars to feel self-respect. All I need to do is discipline myself to take the right actions and normalize the right habits. And already I feel like a gold in that safe. So the actions I'm talking about are the things you do after your workout. Obviously you can't work out all day long unless you are a fitness influencer to make money. Working out, meditating, affirmations are the base routine to help yourself feel healthy, to help yourself feel like a top priority in your life. But the next tier after that is the money making skill. If you are happy with your career direction, by all means, keep implementing great habits outside of your work and give it your all in your job. But if you wanna be somebody that has autonomy over their lives, yes, we still do work, but we work in a way where the money elevates our life. The money helps increase our life quality, not in a way where we are working for a promotion and then once your salary increases by 10%, you have to work longer hours in order to have more salary, which means that after you get promoted, you actually get paid less money per hour because you are working more. And all this whirlwind of confusion and workplace politics and all this bullshit that I hear from my friends and that I've personally experienced myself. Now you decide, do I want more than this? Do I deserve better than workplace politics, corporate politics, people that are full of ego, bosses that don't even know themselves. They only have the position because they are older than you and worked longer than you, but they are not smarter than you. They are not more emotionally intelligent than you. Yet do you have to constantly settle and listen to their instruction just to get paid? Or are you going to get yourself up and learn all the money making skills that will increase your chances of having exponential income. And again, this comes down to self-concept and your foundational beliefs. This is the climax of the video. I want you to now decide, am I going to settle for mediocre people or am I going to command my reality? Am I going to trade my labor for money forever? Or am I going to take charge of my life and learn all the money making skill sets to bring autonomy back into my life? It is actually time for you to dial up that feeling of self-respect, self-confidence, 
because I genuinely believe now that in order for us to start making money outside of our nine to five job, it all starts from our internal state, the internal feeling we have towards ourselves. And that's why I'm telling you guys, your career opportunity, your life progression, your fitness, and your ability to find your soulmate is an internal state. It's a mental and vibrational game. It is all about you deciding. Decide right now, do I want to settle or not? Even if you don't get to leave your nine to five in the next five years, as long as you decide I'm not settling, I'm not settling for what I don't want. Now your brain is going to start finding ways to understand, oh, how did this person turn over $10 million? How did this person turn over $5 million? And you will find that there are many, many business models, many different ways that people are ethically making money without scamming anyone. So now do you see that when you prime your subconscious mind to believe I am worth it, I deserve this. I command my reality. I love myself. I only associate myself with people that are on the same frequency as me. I don't leak my energy out. If my energy is a price currency and my energy is worth thousands and thousands of dollars, I'm not going to freely give toxic people, here you go, thousand dollars, when they haven't shown you that they deserve your $1,000. That's how you price your energy like currency. And all of these things combined is what will help you elevate your life to the next level to the point where you're now starting to feel detached. See your energy as being worth more than a Lamborghini itself. And now you will truly decide, what am I going to allow into my life? Once you now truly feel this way about yourself, and you've also solidified other good habits like taking frequent walks, spend some time in nature, connect to the present moment, get onto a yoga mat and do a bit of stretching cardio frequently so you respect yourself, your mind feels clear. And now that your health is good, you are then going to invest your time learning new skill sets that make you more money even if that is public speaking. Public speaking is really effective for closing sales, talking to clients, making videos on YouTube, making sales funnel on landing pages. Public speaking will help you build confidence with your aura. You will know how to talk more persuasively to people. That's a money making skill. Perhaps you can also use this time to learn copywriting, how people build websites, what do they write on their website that makes people pay for their subscription fee? How does it work with your psychology? And it's so interesting because I've watched a lot of YouTubers that recommend instead of investing your money just into crypto or real estate, invest the money that you have into new skill sets that could then multiply your income to then invest into crypto and real estate. If you invest just in stock and crypto, then the money goes up based on an external event. But if you invest the money back into yourself, your ability to close your clients at a high price, your ability to launch a product for hundreds of people to pay for the small fee, then that would actually 10x your income to then have more income to go and invest in crypto. So these are all interesting way of thinking for you to now be in this more abundant, but also logically abundant place. It's about broadening your mind to new paradigms, new way of how reality works so that you can feel whole and content within yourself to the point where if this guy leaves my life, he doesn't value my presence, well, guess what? My life still has meaning. This guy does not fulfill me. I'm already fulfilled and we are coming to enhance each other's life. And why is that? because I've learned to master my soul with this law of detachment. So guys, choose now. How's the rest of 2024 going to unfold for you? Go to the mirror one more time and tell me, what reflection do you see? A reflection of a true winner that conquers her reality. This is Pat's platform and thank you for watching.